used to do with a cloak fling a bronze mallard, which is the addition to the fly. But everything else is just a normal bibio. This is a great pattern to have in your box uh, any time of the year. Uh, if you're into traditional wet flies, lock style fly fishing, and uh, be it here in the UK or in Ireland, uh, it'd be a certainly a fly worth having in your box. So I'll show you how you tie it. Now th this is a size 12. You could easily go 10s. So now you could put a tail on it as well, but normally I don't put the bibial tail on. I don't put a tail on it. The thread I'm going to be using is a Unithread 8O in black. The hook, this is a Camasan, it's a B175 and it's a size 12 as I said. I'm just going to wind on the thread, get it started, then get on the way down I'm going to tie in, this is a small oval silver tinsel. Just tie it on the side, nice and tight, wind it down. I'll not slip on you because it's an oval tinsel. Just slightly by, just as you go around the bend, just stop at that point there. Now the body can be a synthetic, or an SLF, or a seals fur, whatever you have. Now I'm using seals fur, and it's black, red, black. So I'm tying a bit of seals fur on. Just form the first part of the body. Now as you can see I've run through it with the bare thread and come back up. Just to slightly tighten the body up a bit, just slightly. And then I'll get the red seals for. Again, just form centre part and I'm basically going up and down to get the, the taper I want in the body. And again, just bring the thread to the front. And then back to the black seals for. Now you probably see I'm not using any wax on my thread. You don't need wax for dubbing especially this type. You'll not be able to slide up and down if you use wax. There we are. And again, I'm just going to bring the thread through, tighten up the, the dubbing slightly, draw it back and put tons of thread in front. It gives you a nice or better shape in your body, even though it looks a bit rough, but that's where you want it. Now, because it's a cloaked version, the hackle, I'm using this as a, a Hebert Minor, it's a saddle hackle by Whiten, it's a long saddle hackle. Now the hackle length in this is just slightly longer than normal. It's the suit, I feel it suits the, the cloaked wing, so you could shorten it, it's up to yourself. Now you start with a turn at the top, then start to work my way down. Now you get a single turn, or a turn started with your oval tinsel. Before you get down there, I've just forgot to do that. Bring it through. I like a turn at the back just to protect the back of the body. Then catch in your hackle using your oval silver tinsel and then work up. Four to five turns, just break that off. Always keeping the tinsel nice and tight. Now as you can see I'm bringing it up, coming across the thread. Make sure it's tying in. Or tied in anyway. You've got wax on your thread at this point to just give you a wee bit extra grip, strength at the head area. Now I'm going to rough up the fly, just use a bit of velcro. Bring out some of the seals for. Just watch your thread, you don't want to catch your thread with the, the velcro. There we are. Now, that first, the fly I showed you in the vise was already used this a medium sized feather. So I'm going to use the top part of the feather here. So I'm just going to bring the fibre straight out, tear it away from the, the main feather itself. And then the length, you want it slightly longer. See if you get the length of the hackle. Let's see, you want it slightly longer. Sit it on the top and fold it around the hook. And then come with a loose turn or two, and then tighten up. Two or three turns. Now at this point you can check the length. Now it's not too bad. You could maybe tad shorter, I would think. I'm just gonna bring it back just a wee bit. You can go back. Just bring it back in. See so if you're not happy, come back. Again, roll it around the 
the hook, just hold it around the hook anyway. Come around with a couple of loose turns and then tighten up. And two or three tight turns. And it's a wee bit better. And then just work your way around trimming away the excess of the bronze mallard. Always be careful you don't catch your thread. Now what I like to do here is then come in, put a wee bit of wax on my thread, bring the thread to the eye, stretch it towards the eye, and then work from there up into the cut ends of the bronze mallard. Now you could f basically finish it that, so you could, uh, it's up to yourself. Or what I like to do is put a hackle in front. And I did leave a space for the hackle, so you've, you've got to leave a wee, a wee tad but extra space for that. And this is just a black hen hackle. It's a Chinese hen, whatever hen hackles you can get. They tie it in by the tip. Fold back the tip, two or three turns. You see, keeping the thread tight, I can break it off. And then you're looking two to three turns in front. Hackle fibre the length, you don't want it too long. Don't want it as wouldn't be short on the wing anyway, at least. Around about half. Nothing less than that. Now the into turns there. Come in, catch in your hackle, which sure there's a few turns in. I'm just gonna check if I can fold this back, it can Makes it a wee bit tidier, so I'm going to fold it back. Keep the thread tight, I can break it off. And you've got to be brave to do that, you've got to make sure it's nice and tight. And then, always keep the thread tight, straight in and quite finish. And there we go. So you a nice, a nice shape. It's a simple fly. It's a good. It's a good style. It works extremely well in the. I see in the locks. For wild brown trout, as much as the rainbow trout. Now I'm just going to put a varnish all the way around. Now you could. The single coat is fine. Double coat. Uh, makes it a wee bit shinier, obviously. I'm just going to make sure the eyes clean. And there we are. And that's the bibio, but with a cloaked wing, a bronze mallard wing. So yeah, good fun to tie, and an excellent fly to have in your box.